is empowering. The campus is pink. Her campus is family. Welcome back. I'm Jayla Scruggs. And I'm Kim Gastelum. We got a new guest host with us this week. <laughs> <laughs> what are things going on at Lawrence this week? Um, let's see. This week is actually on campus, so it's Hispanic Heritage, Heritage Month until October 15th. So that's still going on. And it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is, it is, it is. Yeah. I feel like everybody should go out and get tested, you know, for breast cancer, things like that. Yes. And then you can constantly wear pink like I am today. Of course, it'd yes, be cute. Yes, of course. And then pink <laughs> ribbons all over the place. Um, other things. Tomorrow night, of course, at the Lee Center, Vic Mensa will be performing. He's like, everybody's been talking about that. SUA is hosting that. So you guys should totally come on, check that out. Like, who doesn't love Vic Mensa? Have you heard any of his new stuff? No, I, I have not. <laughs> He's like a hip hop artist. He's good. You should oh, go I check should him go. out. Yeah, Time. you should. I think it's at seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah, I should tell you go Everybody check that go out. You should go check it out at the Lead Center. Yeah, for sure. Um, other things going on. What else? Isn't it Domestic Violence Month this month? Yeah. It's Domestic Violence Awareness Month still. I mean, it just started. So, <laughs> yeah. Also, fall break starting. So it starts on Friday and it goes from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, you know, go home. See so so whatever you want to do. I don't know. <laughs> see your parents, see your family. I feel like it's good. I want to go home, but I have to but work. But yeah, before you go home, there's something going on Friday. Yeah, also <laughs> on a Friday is a late night, guys. Totally go check that out. Late night basketball. Isn't it like the scrimmage between like the basketball teams mm, and yeah. stuff like that? Like and half the, the team. boys will be per, like doing some skits and so will the girls. I'll say the girls and the guys do skits and then mm -hmm. they have like giveaways, stuff like that too. And it starts at 6 on Friday, so you guys should totally check that out. So if you want to get to see, make sure you camp out before. Yes, at least be there by it's 5 a.m. So in between, yeah. <laughs> Olive Lawrence comes to it and I feel like it's a good festive thing to do it. It's like a tradition. How do you not yeah. do that? Um, also, on Saturday, there's a football game. We play Baylor, 11 o'clock on Saturday. So that's that. Do you go to any of the football games? Yeah, <laughs> I do. They're fun. I mean, it's fun to watch. Yeah. Anything else going on? Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, tomorrow night, also, there's another concert. Um, NGK, Machine Gun Kelly. Please tell oh. me you know Machine Gun yes, Kelly. Yes, I do know who that is. Are you a fan? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. I don't know. He's uh, performing tomorrow <laughs> night at the Liberty Hall, so you guys should totally come check him out, too. He's having a concert. I think it's like 35 for a ticket. Anywhere from 30 to 35 for a ticket, so you guys should totally check that out, too. Um, anything? I can't think of anything else going on in Lawrence this week. No, but I think that's it. Yeah, it's bundle nice, up, guys. Yeah. It's getting cold out there. Yeah, it's getting pretty it's chilly. True. It's like long sleeve season, <laughs> so that's that. Mm, all right. Thanks, guys. Kim will be back with you with news. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Hi, welcome back to Campus Celebrity with Sarah Lee. Today my guest is Luke, a junior from the journalism school, and we're going to talk a little bit about his major and his hobbies and what he, you know, does in life. Like all of the big questions. No biggie. <laughs> Alright, so you're a junior at the journalism school. Can you tell us your major? I am a strategic communications major. It's technically a journalism major mm -hmm. with an emphasis in strategic communications. How are you liking it? I absolutely love it. Um, J School's fun, a lot of real world practical experience, and it's fun to kind of be hands on and doing what I'm going to be doing in the future. Yeah, so what has been your favorite part about like being in the J School or specifically in the Stratcom? Um, I walked through today, I walked through the J School, and just knowing 15 people, on the, it's a small school, but it's just a really great community there, and there's a lot of people who are there who know you and who want to help out, and it's kind of cool to get, um, I, someone graduated recently who I knew in the J school, and it's kind of cool to get a text message from, from her and be like, hey, you're still in J school, you're still doing this, that, and this, and it's, it's just a big community, and everyone really supports each other a lot, and there's a lot of group work, and it's always fun. It's always a fun time. Yeah, absolutely. So you mentioned some, how you like, because it's hands-on, what has been your favorite project that you've done? Well, in uh, Journalism 460, which I took with Dr. Chen, uh, we got the opportunity to work with Headquarters Counseling Center, which is a, uh, a small Lawrence-based um, 
suicide hotline and like help and support hotline and they were our client and we got to work with them and, and try and increase awareness, student awareness on campus and stuff like that and it was cool because we conducted focus groups, we did research, we found out what we thought they needed to do and the next week we'd see stuff uh, that we told them to do on campus. So it was kind of cool to actually see everything play out and have this company uh, follow what the students were saying and telling them to do and actually implement some of the things that we wanted them to. Yeah, that's a great, that's actually a really great organization. I'm happy you did that. So you mentioned earlier when we were talking that you're also part of the KU rock climbing team. What, I guess, like what got you into rock climbing? Um, it's, well, it's a KU Rock Climbing Club. It's not a, like a competitive a team. team. Darn, I was we hoping do. it was like an actual like competitive thing where you like race no. teams from other schools. Um, well, there is an event called the 24 Hours of Horseshoe Hell mm -hmm. that happens every year, and we have some people go out and compete there. But generally, it's, it's a collaborative sport where we're just out there having fun and pushing ourselves personally. Um, what got me into it, honestly, they make fun of a lot of people down at the wall who just come down and they're like, what's your hardest route? I want to do it. I bet it's easy. I was actually one of those people, and it just was the hardest thing I'd ever tried and uh, I was so surprised that I couldn't climb. I felt like climbing should be something that I'd be able to do. I can climb ladders, so why, why is it different now? Uh, and that kind of challenge brought me back and it's been a lot of fun to see myself personally improve um, and, and keep fighting my own personal goals and, and just doing one step better and one step better because climbing is something where you can really track your progress. There's, there's certain levels and you know what grade you're climbing at and what you want to try and do. So when you get, when you finally finish that one, that one route that you're working on, you know you've progressed and it's a really great way to see yourself improve as a climber. Have you ever sustained an injury from rock climbing? I uh, pulled a pulley tendon on my left middle finger Ew. while I was um, doing stupid training stuff that I really shouldn't have been doing because I was still new to rock climbing at the point and that mm -hmm. took me out for about six months. Um, but as far as falls and stuff go, it's mm -hmm. actually really... I wouldn't say safe sport because it's inherently dangerous because you're off the ground, but you're roped in. The rope can handle 10 times the weight you'd ever put on it. Uh, and unless you do something wrong, um, you're not going to die. And the Rock Climbing Club is really adamant about teaching safety. That's their number one thing is that they want you to be safe out there because otherwise, what's the point? Right. No, that's awesome. So if we have any viewers who are interested in going down to the wreck, check out rock climbing because I've personally never been rock climbing in my life. So, yeah, come to the Chalk Rock. It's awesome. really fun. It'll, uh, it'll put you in your place. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to fall in front of everyone there. Yeah. So come join me. But thank you so much for coming on our show. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Nope, that's all. All right. Well, uh, stay tuned and then come back and see what else follows. This is Kimberly with your news segment. The gunman who, was killed, who killed nine people and injured seven at Umpqua Community College in Rosebrook, Oregon on October 1st has been identified as Chris Harper Mercer. There are no details on what his motives were. The shooter reportedly told the students in a Riding 115 class in Snyder Hall to get on the ground before asking them to stand up and state their religion. Chris Harper Mercer committed suicide in a fun firefight with Douglas County Sheriff's deputy. Michael Cummings, senior quarterback, was injured during the spring games in April. Since then, KU football has been uncertain who would take the quarterback position. Montel Kozar took his position at the beginning of the season. <coughs> Kozar was injured this past Sunday against Iowa State leaves and leaves KU football certain, uncertain again who their quarterback would take the position. So this Saturday, freshman quarterback Ryan Willis will make his first career debut against the Baylor Bears. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is an annual campaign to increase awareness of the disease. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. According to the World Health Organization, breast cancer is the most common cancer among women worldwide. You and I can make a difference by getting educated on early symptoms and by spreading awareness. To find out more on how you can make a change, visit nationalbreastcancer.org. Up next is the fashion segment.
Welcome back. I'm Natalie Sitek and will be holding a segment, Natalie Knows. I will be breaking to you the latest fashion advice by the students of the University of Kansas. Today, I have my friend and fellow fashion guru, Lauren, here so we can discuss how to prepare for the new season. Pull out your sweaters, jeans, and boots, ladies and gentlemen. It's finally fall. So that poses the question, how can we stay warm but still look cute? Lauren, do you have any ideas? Of course. I love to wear scarves and other statement necklaces with my um, sweaters and my other dresses. And I also love glasses. They fix all imperfections. I definitely <laughs> think those are all good tips for our viewers. Um, my next question is, how do you feel about the weather? Do you like it, love it? Hate it, could live without it. What's, what's your feeling? I love it. It reminds me of my hometown, which is Chicago, and um, I have mostly fall clothes because it's winter six months out of the year, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I definitely like the fall season myself. I like summer the best, but fall, you can go get your pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks oh, yeah. and bundle up by the campfire. <laughs> Um, my next question, what is one thing people must have for fall? What do you think? Definitely a must have is riding boots. You can wear them with <laughs> jeans, dresses, leggings, anything and everything. Definitely. Yeah, I have a brown pair and then I ended up needing to get a black pair too because brown doesn't go with everything. But I try and wear like my brown pair in the fall and mm -hmm. then do my black pair in the winter. But definitely love those. Can't wait to pull them out. Um, to help our viewers out, what are some stores you usually like to shop at? Well, I am an avid online shopper. <laughs> um, I love the little boutiques online, and I also love Forever 21 for like the basic sweaters mm -hmm. and, and um, free people for the treats. <laughs> free people is great. I actually just got a turtleneck from free people, so excited to wear that. But mm -hmm. I haven't tried online shopping. I'm like nervous to try it because I feel like if I get the stuff and then it doesn't end up fitting, like how do you take that back? Do you get to exchange that or like how does that work? I'm like nervous, so I've never done it before, but I know a lot of people do. Um, I feel like it can be hard to figure out what to wear here at KU for class, like no one dresses up, and but when you're going out, everyone seems to look so great, so oh, yeah. you have to like have a good balance of both types of clothes. And Lauren, like she mentioned, is from Chicago. So on just a quick side note, was it hard deciding what to bring versus what to leave at home? Oh yeah, I have so much <laughs> fall clothes. Um, I brought like a good portion of my sweaters, but I actually don't have a lot of um, winter going out clothes, so I have to go shopping again. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, you can never have enough. Um, for me, I live in Overland Park, so luckily it's pretty easy for me to go home and get more stuff. But you can never have enough. Like, I'm always cold, so I need to get more sweaters and more winter clothes. So, yeah. what colors um, do you think look good for fall? I think we need to establish that just so everybody knows. Uh, my favorite is maroon and the dark green colors. Mm -hmm. And I love like the dark blues and like the, the washed out colors. I don't like the bright colors for fall. Definitely. No, I think you're right. Kind of like to match the leaves, you could go with burgundy or burnt orange maybe like a golden or a plum, or you can't go wrong with brown. You can't yes, go, wrong, can't go with wrong with brown, brown or black. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks, Lauren, for joining us. Um, I hope this was helpful in preparing for what you're wearing this fall. Thank you all for watching Natalie Knows, and we'll see you next week. Hi guys, Kim and JLo back here with ya. Yep, we're here to wrap it up for you. So, don't forget about late night on Friday. It's supposed to be a blast. It starts at 6.30 and it lasts till 9, but doors open up for students around 4.30, so you guys should totally check it out. It's supposed to be a lot of fun, skits and other activities. Just a blast.
Anything else? No. Nope. Well, other than fall break, I think that's it. Yeah, it's, and it should be fun, fun week. And so you guys, <laughs> we can please, please, please go see Vic Vincent and Machine Gun Kelly. They're supposed to be awesome. Like, how do you not love those two? Like, they're awesome. All right, thanks. We our next segment will be October twentieth, cause fall break, so we don't have class on Tuesdays. So see you one o'clock then. All Bye right, guys. See ya. Campus is empowering. The campus is pink. Her campus is family.